a one and a half inch scale Alchin Royal Chester Traction Engine renovation. Part 12. This is a short video showing what I hope will be the last of the paintwork sequences on this traction engine. Painting the front hub caps initially was a problem, but a change of paint and using a paintbrush put it right. These hub caps are made from brass and it would be nice to keep them in a brass finish and polish them, but alas, the rear hub caps are painted black and they have some lettering on them. And for that reason, I'm going to paint the front ones black as well. I removed the damaged paint from the hub caps by simply dropping them into a small tub of cellulose thinners or lacquer thinner, and in a few hours they were paint free. Now I need to clean them up using a piece of Scotch Brite to roughen the surface. One good thing about living by yourself is there's no one to go on at you when you convert part of the dining room table into a spray booth. A piece of plywood on the table and one of my Christmas presents which is an advent calendar full of wine which is currently being emptied on a daily basis. And underneath the old towel are a couple of cases of Corona Lager. I like to improvise with what I already have. These images are a bit grainy because I filmed it last night and it was quite dark. Here is a can of self-etched grey primer that I'm going to spray on the hubcaps first. I placed the hubcaps on top of an aerosol cap and gave them a light coating of the etching primer. Before anyone writes in, yes I am aware that this etching primer is not designed for brass, but it doesn't know that, so it sticks really well to the brass. I gave the hubcaps a few light coats and then left them on the table for a few hours for the etching primer to dry. After this, the job went a bit wrong. I have a can of gloss aerosol paint from HMG Paints, and I thought that would be ideal to paint these parts. Here's a self-etched primer on the bench, and here is the black gloss paint at the other side. This is very good quality enamel paint, but I didn't get a good result. Look at the texture on the top of the hubcaps. It looks like hammerite. And the thing that puzzled me was the paint did not react with the etching primer. It just built up on top of the hubcaps and then bubbled. And it looked like it was the propellant from inside the can that was bubbling. Very odd. Anyway, back into the cellulose thinners and now they look like this again. It really is a pity I can't leave them in brass. But no, they need to be black as I've previously mentioned. I gave them another coat of self-etch primer. And quite early in the morning, the next day, I continued the job. But this time I'm going to use Phoenix Precision Paints Black Gloss. This is quite an old tin of paint, but there's nothing wrong with it, so it should be fine for the job. A viewer wrote in and told me about a useful painting tip. He was suggesting to use a modified tin lid to wipe the paint on, which is a good idea because you wouldn't get all the paint mess around the edge of the can. I didn't modify this lid, I just used it to hold the paint. And here I'm transferring some paint from the can into the tin lid just by repeatedly dipping the paintbrush into the paint and transferring it into the lid. There's nothing new to show here really, I'm using a paintbrush to apply some black paint. I'm trying not to put it on too thickly, I don't want it to run. And usually when I use this Phoenix Precision Paints, I find that after I've brushed it onto the parts, by the time it's dried, it flattens out very well and the brush marks don't show. Just as I finished the job, my phone made a funny noise. And when I clicked on the WhatsApp tab, my family were all online talking to each other. My daughter Catherine's baby at the bottom left didn't like what she was seeing and started crying. Hence the black screen. My first wife Fran at the top of the image is in bed because she's ill. The person in the image above me is my eldest daughter Emma. To the left of her is my daughter Charlotte, not forgetting me at the bottom right. I felt obliged to show my family the painting I was doing. Yesterday was my granddaughter Emily's birthday, so the family all went into York for a meal. It was like a Japanese takeaway, and when we all arrived, there were seven of us, suddenly a load of tables and chairs appeared, and we were all seated in the area where people kept coming in for takeaways. And this was not good for me. I take some medication for type 2 diabetes, and this in conjunction with the fact that every time the door opened, a blast of icy air rushed in because it was about four degrees below zero outside. I asked the Japanese lady where the toilets were, and she said, there aren't any, you have to go down the street to a hotel. This was not good for me because the hotel in actual fact was about 400 yards away. But thankfully, down this very dark alley on the way to the hotel, I found a corner where there was a wheelie bin 
so I didn't need to go to the hotel, I just went back to the restaurant. While I've been telling you that story, I've painted the trunk guide, which supports the crosshead, and here I'm repairing any of the black lining on the engine. I found this quite difficult to do, but I got there in the end. And that's about it for this short video, all I can do is leave the engine for the paint to dry. I'll conclude this video by showing a clip of me cleaning the brush. In the next video, I should be able to replace the front wheels back on the axle and refit the hubcaps. I'm just looking in the box of 10BA fixings just to make sure that I have enough. And that concludes this short video about finishing the painting, or at least I hope it's finishing the painting. Stay safe, stay healthy, thanks for watching, and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Mainsteam Models website and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that, you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists, you can actually watch the videos back to back.